Recently, Panasonic released software where one could choose the focus of their image by choosing it in post-production. With these recent developments in Panasonic's hand in filmmaking, how did it get here? What is the history of Panasonic? Film News Report, we give you news every Monday about filmmaking. Today we'll be discussing Panasonic's history, which after this video, you'll be saying Master's Hit Day's hit story because most of Panasonic's founding and its legacy came from Master's Hit Day. Let's start off with this story of the electronic giant on the date March 7th, 1918 when Master Sitte started Panasonic, or at the time it was Master Sitte Electric Housewares Manufacturing Works. He started off with only two employees, Manu Mini and her 15-year-old brother. They created quality socket plugs that sold for 30% cheaper, and then by the end of 1918, they had 20 employees. By the end of World War I and the start of the industrial boom, Master Sitte kept his employees by declaring he would teach anyone willing to work the company's techniques. Instead of keeping those companies' methods a secret like other companies. In the next decade, the economy dropped and Master Sitte kept his employees by starting the organization Hitua Kaya, which was an organization that hosted recreational and sports activities for his employees. In 1929, on October 24th, the New York Stock Exchange crash happened, and Master City cut production in half in order to not lay off any workers. By two months, employees brought back full-scale production. This created the tradition of celebrating the first shipment. On May 5th, 1932, Master Sitte created a 250-year plan to make products plentiful and low cost like water was, and yet still retain its quality. That's some serious planning. Master Sitte was so committed to his employees that by 1940, he created two employee schools and one employee hospital. When World War II came around, the schools had to close, but they reopened in 1960 as a Master Sitte Electrical Technical College. Now we get to World War II. In 1938, the company unwillingly created resources and products for the war, including ships and aircraft, even though they had no experience in those fields. By the war's end, the employee number dropped from 26,000 to 4,400 employees, and they lost 32 office buildings and factories. Furthermore, due to politics, the company was put on restrictions and he, Master Sitte was ordered to resign due to his part in the war. Before he could resign, the order was repealed seeing that the labor union wanted Master Sitte to stay in the company instead of leaving. By March 1950, restrictions were put off the company, but by that time, the company had to lay off 567 workers marking it as one of their few and worst and forced playoffs ever. In January 1951, Master Sitte made plans for revival. He visits the US and Europe in October for the first time in his life to observe the other electronic companies. 1952 came around and the company decided to partner up with Philips due to the fact that they have similar growths and similar products. One year later, they start research on video technology and Panasonic starts the road on 
to filmmaking, but they first start off with TVs. Zooming forward, the company grows with global marketing and Master Sote appears on Time and Life magazine. And they make their own first color television in 1960. On January 1973, the company's 55th year anniversary came, and Master Sote retires. Three years later, in 1976, they start selling VCRs. Then, the Japan Victoria Corporation, famously known as JVC, works with them to help create their first VHS video cassette recorders in 1977. The company's first camcorder was made eight years later in 1985, and now Panasonic is on both sides of filmmaking, from TVs to the camcorders. In 1987, the company adopted Panasonic for the unified accounting year. On April 27, 1987, Masasite dies at the age of 94. Forty years later, the partnership with Philips was dissolved and the other owner of the company, Panasonic, takes the company and now it is called Panasonic. Now in present day, Panasonic is one of the lead competitors in not only filmmaking, but houseware appliances and other electronics as well. Panasonic is proof that strong leadership with strong collaboration is proof that it doesn't only work on production set, but everywhere else. This is Philip News Report, reminding you to create your story.